Yes, I'll send you one real quick. Send them the photos. Thank you. Did it, did it say to end abortion as well? Yes. Here, we can head into this group. Whatever works for you guys, whatever works. Yeah. All right. So we're all just putting our arms around each other. You're next to Hunter right now. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> uh, you know, want me to start? Yeah, of course. Okay, I don't even know what we're praying for. <laughs> um, um, salvation okay. of the lost. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, we come for, before you now, just believing that you are here, God. Your word says when two or more are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst. God, I just pray for this nation right now as it's, it's struggling and trying to kick you out, God, that we're just going to be a demonstration that you are still in this country, your hand is still over this country, God. I just pray um, for your salvation, God, over this pandemic. It's been a long six, seven months, and we all, we all know you're super tired of it, but we know you. everything is happening for a reason and everything's in your control, God. Your word says nothing, um, nothing's gonna be out of your hands. And Lord, I pray for just um, the abortion industry, God, knowing me, knowing that that's something I'm very passionate about, God. Um, I just pray you're, throughout these uh, school years that you're able to grow me and stretch me and make me your tool, God, to be a light in that industry and to just bring so many people to you through my work. And yeah, thank you for bringing us all here safely, even though our bus broke down. Um, and yeah, we love you, Lord. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us here. I pray for the lost that that you would touch their hearts and that you would encourage us to be their face connection and possibly the face time that they hear about you. I pray for the coronavirus, Lord, that the doctors and the researchers developing a vaccine would be encouraged and keep working. And I pray that everyone stays healthy and safe. And I pray for the abortion industry. I pray that it will just go away and that more ch children's lives can be saved and that adoption rates can go up. And I pay for everyone involved in Jesus' name. Dear Lord. Lord, today for that, as we pray for the lost, I also pray for the saved, that you just let us take responsibility to evangelize to these people, Lord, and let us share this good news, let us share the gospel, and let us rely fully on you, Lord, because we are broken and we need you. And let us use you, Lord, to just evangelize to others and let just let people be found and have you in their lives forever, Lord. I just pray that we take initiative to save people and that we are not ashamed of the gospel, Lord. I pray that for the coronavirus, as we are all spending much more time in solitude, that, Lord, people do not get sad or lonely, but they use this time to grow in their relationship with you, and that during this time, people read their Bibles more, and people really grow in prayer, and those who are struggling with anxiety and depression, that, Lord, they know that they are not alone during this time. But we also pray that, Lord, for the abortion industry, and we just pray also for the adoption industry and the foster care system, Lord, that as these babies are being saved, Lord, I just pray that you take them to a good home after you so graciously saved them. And Lord, I just pray that you let us, give us courage and let us know that whatever we are doing is not enough, but Lord, you, whatever you do is powerful and things will be done. Amen. 
Lord, I pray for the saved right now, Lord. Um, the, the saved have the courage to help others to salvation, Lord, that we're a nation of mixed beliefs, Lord, and I pray that we're able to be a light to the United States and to the world, Lord, to know what is right and wrong in your will that is to be done with the abortion, coronavirus, with it all, Lord. I pray for the saved and those who need to be saved, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, you know how broken our country is, Lord Jesus. You know how lost we are. Lord, we're turning to things that are not you, and we are turning to different idols and different um, just ugliness, Lord, that is being fed to us by our society, Lord, and that is not what you want for us. I pray for those who are lost, Lord, that we are able to be a light to them and that they will see you in us, Lord. Lord, I also pray for the brokenness of the families, Lord, in this country, Lord. Um, Lord, you are the ultimate father, and I pray that those without fathers will see that, Lord. You are also the God who cares for the orphans and the widows, Lord Jesus. And I just pray that um, we are able to restore biblical masculinity and femininity, Lord Jesus, and just restore the home, Lord. Lord, I pray for the awful abortions and the deaths that are occurring every single day in this country. I know how precious they are to you, Lord, and I know that um, that you love them just as much as you love us that are standing here today, Lord. And I thank you that my birth mother did not abort me, Lord Jesus. I thank you that I'm standing here and I'm able to be living proof of someone who came out of an ugly situation and was able to come and ultimately serve you, Lord Jesus. And I, um, Lord, just pray for those who are um, suffering with coronavirus, Lord Jesus, that they're able to know your presence and that you are able to heal them and that they see your goodness throughout this, even though um, they are suffering, Lord. But that's just temporary, Lord Jesus. And I just thank you for your goodness, ultimately, and just that we are able to come together and pray for our country, Lord. Just heal our country, heal our land, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Dear God, I just pray that you would um, today just be with all of us and keep us all safe. And I just pray for all the lost, dear God, that they would come to get to know you before it's eternally too late. Um, and I just pray that when we share the gospel with them, that they would receive it in the way that it needs to be received, dear God. I just pray for the awful abortion industry. As I was born at 24 weeks, weighing one pound five ounces, and I pray for those babies who lose their lives every single day because of all awful decisions that other people would make. I just pray that you would um, just help people to make the right decisions and just stop all the abortions, dear God, because it's not fun. I just pray that you would be with all of them and just keep everybody safe. And um, I just pray for the families that are going through brokenness right now during the coronavirus, dear God. I just pray that you would restore everybody, and I just pray as we're in the solitude that we're not we're not turning to social media or bad things in this world, dear God, that the world wants us to turn to, but that we're, we're turning to making a relationship with you. I just pray that you would help us to read our Bibles more and to know more about you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, no, go ahead, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Uh, dear God, um, I just want to thank you so much for this opportunity right here and for this group um, of people who are willing to um, pray. And um, I just thank you, first off, for the leaders that um, are standing up for the gospel and for truth and put this event together. Um, God, you continuously blow me away um, by, um, by your faithfulness and by your power um, and by the grace that you give us um, through your son, Jesus. And, um, you know, I just... I just thank you for, again, for um, giving us the opportunity to be here. I just want to lift up um, a lot of the things that are happening in the world currently. Um, and I just want to pray um, that, um, you know, those who um, do not have salvation um, will come to see you, that you will open their eyes and minds, that you will surround them uh, with people, people who love you and people who know you. Um, and I just, I thank you so much for the people that came out today and are praying for that and want to be that. I just pray that we won't be ashamed of the gospel and that um, we will stand up for truth and be a light to others um, as you call us to do. Amen. 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 I like this group. <laughs> uh,